Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Beth, and I just finished reading The Last Party by Claire McIntosh. This book was published in 2022 and is about 400 pages long. So this is actually my pick for the month for Barnes & Noble's free ebook uh, that you can get for March. And that's due to the fact this is one of the picks because there is a new DC Morgan book in this series uh, coming out soon. And this is obviously the first book in said series. And um, it's good. Uh, it's not bad. It, there's a reason why it's a bestseller. But at the same time, there were twists that made no sense. Um, and I don't, uh, spoiler alert, but I'm not going to give any big details. There is kind of a paternity that's revealed in near the end of the story, like the last hundred pages or so. And they basically said, oh, that must be her mother because they look similar. But, you know, they've known each other their whole lives and it, it makes no sense to me that all of a sudden you see a picture when they're 16 and you think that they're your parent. Um, you've probably seen pictures of that age from that person before. Especially, you know, if you've known them your whole life. It just was really stupid. That did not seem like a good reveal. I don't think it added anything to the story. Maybe a little bit. It, it was very much also kind of... It had that third act push uh much like Agatha Christie where it almost felt like Scooby-Doo uh where you're saying this is the actual person that murdered that person but there's really really thin ties and you wouldn't expect this person to be the person at all and you know you have red herrings throughout the whole novel and they didn't even investigate into this person at all throughout the novel so they weren't the person that it was just very much <laughs> Almost deus ex machina. It was just, this is now the murderer. It's almost as if the author decided that was the murderer at the very end of the novel while they were writing it. They didn't even plan. They just said, I'm gonna, you know, review everyone else and say, hmm, doesn't seem interesting enough. I'm gonna bring in a new character that did it. And that's why I said it felt like Scooby-Doo. Because in Scooby-Doo, there's always a huge loophole and it's always a character you didn't expect because there was no screen time to that character. Same, same problem here. Um, I mean, it's still enjoyable. I'm not going to say that it was bad. Um, and I think the writing is serviceable. I don't think the prose is amazing. Uh, I think that it's on par with other novels written in this day and age. Uh, but it's, it's okay. The book is enjoyable and it's okay. I think that the characters want to have depth. I think that the author try tried really hard to write depth into a lot of these characters and they still ended up being pretty flat. Um, our main character, DC Morgan, is, um, she wants to be a tough girl, but also wants to have a soft side. And it's almost as if you claim somebody has a soft side, but don't really give them a soft side. They just cry once and all of a sudden they're sensitive for the rest of the novel. Makes no sense to me. Um, but... To give you a little insight, the main premise is there's a party on New Year's Eve and a very famous singer um, died during that time period because in the next day um, he's found floating dead in the lake. Um, and it, it centers around a town that takes place in the lake and half of it is England and the other half is Wales. Um, there's a lot, of bit, uh, a lot to this novel that is that kind of... Um, push back from the two communities because it's it split this lake in half in a very strange way um they dislike that how their customs have kind of been pushed aside by the english side and uh, they kind of want to retain their own identity and that's a lot of the motives for killing this man is because he uh, has a set of lodges called the shore that he is renting out to people at exuberant prices and he's not boosting the economy of the town and instead just bringing people from outside to do work. So people are very resentful of that. And almost everybody has a motive, except for the killer. Um, but she does. But it was a very, very pushed late in sort of a motive that, like I said, I didn't really like the twist. There, There is a huge twist. Not going to ruin it, but it did not make this book enjoyable for me. Uh, the main character is DC Morgan, 
Uh, she is a investigator and she's working with somebody on the other side because they've split the border. So two investigators working on this case, both have different backgrounds. Um, she did sleep with him during New Year's Eve, so she is obviously not the culprit because they were together during the time of the crime. Um, but there's a lot of conflict of interest on her side just due to the fact that she knows everybody in the town and she lives with them or works closely with them. Uh, while this is just an outsider, he's an outsider, um, and he's having struggles with his custody of his son. So he's honestly more interesting than DC Morgan. Um, I think that she does, uh, her, her family, um, gives her a little bit more depth for her. She has a younger sister, considerably younger than her, and, uh, she lives with her mother because she just separated from her husband for no good reason. They don't give us a reason as to why she separated from him or stayed separate. Like, why did she leave him? That would be nice to know. Just give me a hint. She says, oh, I think this is a mistake. I love him. They had a good life together. They've known each other for a long time. He didn't cheat. She wanted to cheat, so she did after she left. So she didn't even really cheat because she left. I think a big problem with this book is there's just a lot of incongruent ends. It it does not mesh well together in my brain because there seems to be a lot of loopholes that are just not not explained. They, the characters are just pushed to doing things. It's almost as if the author has a gun to their head and they're making she's making her characters do things that is against their nature that she you know, boxed out for them because once again, most of them are pretty two D dimensional characters. There's not they don't have a lot of free choice in the matters, all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm I'm not gonna re recommend this. I think instead you should read Agatha Christie because I think that's a lot. It's well done. It's better than this. But I think that was a big um, inspiration for this book. Um, I've personally read Death on the Nile and I really enjoyed that one. So maybe you could check that as well. So this is not, not going to be a recommendation for me unless you're really starving for something along the mystery lines to read. Maybe go for it. But like I said, it, it, it angered me more than fueled me with enjoyment. Um, hope you have a good one.